and you may find yourself at a noise rock show in somebody's basement. And you may ask yourself, when will I give this up and start watching professional basketball? 73 years ago in 1946, an absolute juggernaut of sports and media burst onto the scene, and it became known as the National Basketball Association, or NBA. But how did we get here? Well, in 1891, 55 years before the founding of the NBA, Canadian James Naismith landed the first bucket for a game that he would go on to name basketball. Quickly, basketball became a premier college sport. And as the sport began to pick up even more steam, the Basketball Association of America was founded, or BAA. They decided to found the BAA so that college players could go pro just like football stars. But then the BAA found competition early on from the NBL and then later on from the ABA, but they all kind of merged together to form the NBA that we know and love today. That's a lot of acronyms. Um, Mr. NP Draws on Instagram, I thought this video was about gatekeeping. Well, I'm getting there, you little shit. <laughs> now, growing up, I didn't really get sports. I didn't really understand why so many people loved watching them. I was more in the camp of... Why is the game stopping again? This game stops way too frequently. Another foul ball? Another walk? I can't see the goddamn puck on the TV! Before you crucify me and try to revoke my Canadian citizenship, I do like hockey. I just, I, I prefer basketball. Hockey's still great though. As you probably already know and can tell from what I've already said, basketball has a really rich history. Its stars have mythic, godlike status. And on top of that, basketball has a super rich fan culture. And if that sounds familiar, it's because it's like every other fandom that has ever existed. I didn't really plan this part out, but people like to talk like there's a lot of difference between sports fandom and literally anything else, but they're really all one in the same. When I actually started getting into basketball, I found that I felt like I was really bandwagoning since I only started to get into it once my team started doing really good. Now, I was a casual fan beforehand, but then I got really obsessive a couple of seasons ago. When I got involved with the community surrounding my home team, it actually turned out that everyone was super supportive and nobody ever criticized me for bandwagoning. They were just really happy to have more people coming to the sport and enjoying the game. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people within the sports community that do gatekeep for a myriad of reasons, which may or may not boil down to, you have not gone through hell with this team like I have. If you haven't been there at their worst, then you shouldn't be here when they're at their best. But truthfully, I feel like I've seen way less of those in the sports community than I have with stuff like movies and music. It feels like every comment section on every piece of music or movie trailer is just like, you know, you, you can't like movies unless you have good taste, you know? It's not just MCU and stuff like that. There's actual real cinema out there. Or alternately, you know, you, you just aren't a real music fan. You only really like a surface level music. You aren't really into stuff until you start like liking Death Grips and like the more avant-garde side of music. I don't even listen to anything on the radio. Shut up, bitch! I guess the point of this video is that if you like something and you're excited to be part of a community or a fandom, welcome more people with open arms instead of gatekeeping them out of being into stuff. Hell, I see this stuff all the time in the Star Wars community. If you don't like the sequels, then you aren't a real fan. If you don't know this much, then you aren't a real fan. And that's just stupid. If somebody's interested in the same thing that you are, then welcome them with open arms, and maybe one day they will become as big of a fan as you are. And if they don't, that's also okay. Enjoy what you enjoy and encourage other people to enjoy it too. Because at the end of the day, what's the point of liking something and cultivating a community if you can't welcome more people and share what you love with others? And most importantly, let's remember how good of a season the Raptors had before it was canceled because of COVID-19. <sighs> I miss basketball. Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it around with someone else who you think might also like it. That would mean a lot to me. And uh, maybe consider subscribing. I'm going to be putting out videos weekly to two weeks, basically more frequently than I used to put out videos because uh, I have basically nothing to do other than write videos and edit them and stuff since we're all stuck inside. Uh, but in any case, that's something I want to keep up even when self-isolation is over. 
Uh, but with that, uh, stay inside, stay safe, wash your goddamn hands, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.